So Adobe have just released a new update to Photoshop and they've got a new tool that allows you to replace any sky with just one click. It's incredibly powerful. It does all the heavy lifting for you. And I'm gonna show you how to use it now on one of my photos. Okay, so let's keep this really quick and simple. So first off, we're gonna come up and click on edit sky replacement and Basically, Photoshop's gonna do all the hard lifting for you here. It's gonna work out where the sky is, take a few seconds, and it's gonna replace that sky for you. Okay, so there it's worked out where the sky is. Now, all you need to do is click on this drop box and you can pick any sky you want. Now, Photoshop comes with a few skies, but not very many, so you're gonna to have to add your own skies in there. And if you just listen at the end of this uh, video, I'm gonna show you where you can download some of my skies. So, um, here's a couple from mine that I think will work quite well. Um, as I said, you, can, you just literally click and replace them really easily, really quickly, check which one works the best. So I personally like this one, but it's gonna to need to be flipped. So let's come out of this, we just click the flip button because as you can see, the sun's coming from over this side. So if we flip that round, it will match the sky. Perfect, okay. And then you've just got a few options you can play with here. So um, you can scale in, which will zoom into the sky. As you can see there, uh, you've then got this move tool which allows you to um, move the sky around, which obviously you have to keep it within the, uh, the size of the sky, but let's say we move it something like that. That looks quite realistic. And then you've got a few options here. Um, faded edge is quite an important one. As you can see, if I move that down, it will, um, it makes the edge a lot harsher. Whereas when you move it up, it fades and blends it into the um, horizon. So we'll keep that right up. Shifting edge actually moves the edge up and down a bit. Now Photoshop's quite good at getting that right. If you uh, try and move it up and down, it, it can make it look a bit strange. So there's brightness, which will brighten up the sky for you um, and darken it. I would say that maybe we'd brighten up a touch just to kind of blend it in a bit better and then you've got temperature which warms up the sky or cools it down which can be quite handy um, to match that to the foreground as well but at the moment I think that um, it's got a pretty good job where it is. Um, you see in scale um, and then this brush here just allows you if it's got it wrong it allows you to brush in the areas um, where it's got it wrong um, and that's about it really these ones just zoom in and the hand tool to move around click OK and there you have it, a sky replacement in literally less than a minute and it's all done for you by Photoshop. It's also very good at blending in if you've got trees or anything that blends into the sky, it does a great job. So it actually breaks it down into layers here and um, as you can see the sky is in that layer there so you can turn it off and on um, and then it's got the foreground kind of blending where it lights up and blends in the foreground into the sky. So um, generally I just leave them on, if you hit um, shift, command and E that will flatten the whole image and there you go, simple sky replacement. So I hope you guys found that useful. It's obviously a very quick and powerful way of replacing skies. Uh, one thing you do need if you want to replace these skies is obviously a gallery of skies to put into those images. So it takes a long time to collect them. And so myself and a good friend of mine, Alex Stead, who's an amazing landscape photographer, um, we've put together 120 skies from our, our own portfolios from sunrises and sunsets night skies, auroras, milky way and blue skies. I've put them together in a pack. So if you're interested, please uh, click below to Alex's website where you can purchase those. There's also more information there and some examples and some before and afters. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.